What's happening everybody? We have another good rolling right to learn today and that one is Rolling America. This is a neat little puzzly game, not too hard, low rule set and you can play it over a zoom and also you know one of my favorites for the channel, it is infinitely scalable. So you can play it with your whole class, you can play it with your entire state, you can play it with the entire world. All they need to know is what dies were rolled and have a little template which as always you guys can get links to the templates down in the description of this video. So without further ado, let's hop on over to the computer so I can show you how this is gonna play. everybody let's get started here rolling america comes with this little bag and in it we find seven seven yes seven dice and i'm gonna put those right in the bag and every turn we're gonna draw two of them and i'm gonna roll them and we're gonna put them in camera so you can see them and we can both place them placement rules are really simple you have to match color and then here's the tricky part all the numbers around it need to be no greater than a difference of one. So let's take a look here. So I rolled a three and a one. So let's say I put my three here and let's say I put a one in California. Not bad, but we'll see how this gets a little more challenging. I'm gonna draw two more out of our trusty bag here. And I drew a blue and a clear. Let's talk about the clear. I'm gonna roll those and put those into our frame here. So now looking at it, we have a blue one. So I'm gonna put that right here, I like, I like that spot. And then I have this clear four, and the clear four can go anywhere I want it to go. So looking at my three here, I like this idea of putting the four somewhere next to it. So I'm gonna put the four right there. And that follows that placement rule. And then we would draw two more out of this, this bag, which only has three left. I drew a purple and a red, I'd roll those and put them right in frame, purple and red. And that means we didn't find green. We didn't use green this round. And so, all right, I'm gonna place these with this one and this three. The one red, I'm gonna put up here. And then the three purple, I'm gonna put here in the hopes that I get a two there. That finishes one of our rounds. So on our template here, we're gonna cross off round one. And we would put back these six dice into our bag. We'd mix that bag up again, and we'd continue this process, drawing two, rolling those two, placing those two. So here I got a yellow one and an orange five. I'm gonna shove the orange five up here. Now, Alaska and Hawaii, you don't have to worry about numbers being adjacent, being you know only one difference. They're kind of off to the side, which is awesome for us in case of that five. And then I have the one yellow. Uh, I'm gonna hope right here works for a one. Now there are three special abilities that I want us to take a look at here. And so we have change color. That's pretty simple. Change color, we can just, Switch one of the colors. You get to use that three times in a game. Dupe means you can kind of duplicate a number. So on that last roll where I had a one yellow, maybe I want to spread that one a little further so I could put this one here. It connects to that red. That's nice, I like it. And then if I do that, I would cross off one dupe. Guard, guard is an interesting piece too. Uh, let's let's set up a scenario in which I need to use a guard. So let's change the let's change I, this roll here. Let's pretend I rolled that a three and a five, and I want to use guard. I cross off that I use guard, and let's say I place this three right here, and I put a circle around it. That three yellow, the three yellow is breaking the rules because it shouldn't be next to this one right here. But I placed it that way. When you place the three and circle it with a guard, it means you can break that rule. So now we don't really count that as being a three. That, that's kind of like a wild, anything can be next to it and that's fine. One more thing about these special powers is you can use multiple of them on a single die and on a single turn. So I could change the color of a die, I could duplicate that die and I could guard it. 
That could be all on one die. And then on the other die, I could do a similar slate of things if I wanted. Your choice on when and where you wanna use those bonuses. Now, if you ever get in a situation where the roll is rolled and you can't place that color, you place an X somewhere in that region. So in case of yellow, I would just place an X somewhere in that region. If you're, that region's all filled up and I have to place a yellow, then I just ignore it and I don't have to place an X. This is a big deal because at the end of the game, you're gonna count up all the X's you have. And when we get to this eighth round, if you have any empty spaces, we didn't actually fill them up, you place an X there. And then you count up all your X's and you put that total number here and we're shooting for the lowest score possible. So you don't want these X's. It is an interesting, intriguing little game. That is Rolling America. So that's it, that's how you play Roll in America. I hope you guys are able to pick up a copy and play it with your students. I hope you also consider joining playing on the live stream with us. Invite your students to play on the live stream with us. It is a great time. Just click the link below for the templates and you are good to go. All right guys, that's all I got for you today. Take care.